Go ahead, please. Hubert. Yes, Mr. President. How you feeling? Well, I'm just fine, and how are you? Pretty good. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, a happy Thanksgiving to you and to Lady Bird. My goodness. Everything sounds good from down there. Fine. We got a little confusion. Aide says McNamara says that uh, they want to, you want to go to Pittsburgh. Jake says that he his last word was that you'd pick up our senators for us. Now, here's our situation. I thought it would be we're going to talk over some uh, uh, reviews of the next session on uh, money and, uh, uh, generally speaking, withholdings and things of that kind. And I thought it would be uh, desirable to uh, do it with some of the leadership. McCormick will not fly, so uh, Albert and Boggs are going to be here from the House, yeah. and Ford is. We've got airplanes bringing them in. Mansfield is at Sarasota, and Dirksen is at Sanford. Yeah. Uh, they're going to need to be picked up at 10 o'clock in the morning. I thought it would... Uh, uh, it's not anything you need to do at all, and if you think that you you ought to be somewhere else, why well, I'd want you to. But I, they're going to bring their wives. We didn't arrange it that way, but uh, Mansfield just said, well, his wife's with him, and I guess he's afraid to leave her in Florida, afraid somebody pick her up and run off with her. And I guess he heard you was down there too, probably. I'm a little scared about my wife. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, I thought it would be a good thing if you if you didn't have plans that you mess up uh, to give you a chance to kind of lead them in and feel with them and talk to them by picking uh, Mansfield up at 10 o'clock and Dirksen at 10.30 and coming over here uh, about the middle of the day. Now, they're going to stay all night. We'd love for you and Muriel to do the same if you want to. Yeah. It's not important. It's not a critical thing. It's not a crisis. There's not any reason for it. We haven't even announced it. We didn't yeah. want to until we could be firm on it. But I'm going to have a bunch of folks coming in. I'm going to bring in George Mahon from one direction. I don't want something that will call Jerry Ford to criticize us. But I thought it would give you a good chance to talk to them uh, and get both of them's feeling and exploring without lobbying with them. But uh, it would give you a chance to do it if you wanted to. Now, Cross says that uh, he wants to dispatch a, one of the jet stars. Uh, to pick you up to go to Pittsburgh. Yep. Jake wants to uh, yep. pick these other folks. So we need to know, and they seem to think there's some confusion yep. between what you told Jake and what uh, Cross told McNamara. Yeah, well, here's the, let me just tell you what the situation was. Uh, I had planned to go up to Pittsburgh because I thought that somebody ought to, uh, you know, that the, one of us elected souls ought to be up there for that uh, gathering because Scranton and Schaefer and all these people are coming in, and old Dave Lawrence was the good old Democrat for many years. And then I've got to go to Minneapolis for the uh, wedding of my uh, Freddie Gates, my friend's daughter, on uh, Saturday morning. And I thought that that was what my original plan was. But if this, uh, I didn't quite understand the meaning of this meeting in Texas. If it's uh, what you say, well, that's where I belong. Well, uh, I don't want to get you in trouble, and I don't want to be responsible uh, uh, for anything that, uh, that you've arranged that gets you out, gets you in trouble there. But what we're going to do roughly is take about five, six billion out of programs. Uh, for this year and reduce them. And we're going to explain to them where we think it ought to be reduced. For instance, this morning, we're taking about 20% out of your road program. Uh, yeah. Well, let me ask you this, Mr. President. Uh, what I had hoped that I might be able to do if it, was not, if it didn't inconvenience everybody was to go to Pittsburgh and fly right down after that uh, ceremony down to Texas and getting there about uh, 1.50. But uh, Jake said he thought that would be too late. Well, I think it. Uh, uh, I, I I think it. Uh, if you're going to come, the the value of your coming is come with the two senators, not come from Pittsburgh, because you can't talk anybody into anything coming over from Pittsburgh to, to Johnson City. No. It's just a, a long dash. I'd go on to Pittsburgh and uh, arrange it, and we'll. We'll just, uh, I, I can roughly tell you all we're going to tell them. It's not anything of any great moment. I thought that uh, you might try to bring about a little unity by being uh, the boss of, uh, of uh, Mansfield and Dirksen. So here's what do you all think about next year. What do you think we're going to do? What do you think we ought to do? Try to get them to talk a little bit privately and get the group because it just fortuitously we were all in Florida. That was my thinking. Yes, sir.
Mr. President, that's what I will do. And uh, uh, if you want to, I'll ask, uh, I know Marvin's going to the funeral, but if yes. you think we ought to get some other people, well, we'll get some other people. No, I'll do it this way, and I'll, uh, uh, I'll come down, I'll be in Texas. All right, and, uh, and uh, will Muriel be with you? Yes, Muriel. All right, now, now will you want a plane to go to Minneapolis yes, that night, or? To, we'll have to go up to Minneapolis really that night. All right, all right. Okay, then we'll uh, we'll work it out that way. You can leave here at 6, 7 o'clock in the evening and go yeah. to Minneapolis. Yeah, we're going up for our friend's uh, wedding up there. I just tell him you had another date and you had to had to go to it and not get any details where you're going. And uh, uh, you bring them over and then we'll have a plane, uh, uh, my plane here or something. We'll take you to Minneapolis. All right. Now, will you get a hold of uh, uh, Mansfield and uh, Dirksen? Do you know where they are? Yes, well, uh, they people do here at the Secret Service. All right. Now, it's 9.15. You'll have to leave your place. Where are you, Miami or Key West? Miami. 9.15. Uh, you have to leave there to pick them up at uh, not later than 10 at Sarasota and the other one at 10.30. Yep. Uh, we'll have that all worked out. Now, what I want to do, I, uh, the main part of this, I thought, is that... Uh, it's going to give me a little chance to spend a night with George Mahon and try to get the House thing, and I thought you might work on the Senate thing a little with them. And I would lead them instead of direct them. I'd just make them say to me what they want to do. All right. And I think you'll find they don't want to do much. And uh, Scotty Reston, you see his columns? Yes, morning? I sure. I saw it the other day. He says, well, it's in Texas papers this morning, but he says... Uh, that Gardner says that we just, our, our administration of all of our programs is something terrible. Uh, I thought Gardner had done an awful good job. I'm surprised that Gardner would say that. He I just takes a quote or two out of, out of context, but Shriver is uh, really unloaded on us yesterday. He yes, called a press conference and told them how terrible they all were, and if they didn't start agitating and putting the heat on us and the pressure, that uh, it would be terrible. And, I think we've got to have a real feel. What's your feel about poverty next year? What do you think we ought to do? Roughly, uh, our budget, the first two years we were in office, was under 100 because of defense expenditures. Uh, this year, our budget will run $127 billion. Yeah. So we're up from 99, Kennedy was 90. We're up from 99 to 127. Next year, it'll run 140. Uh, at the moment, we have requests for 90-some-odd billion from the service. We think that the minimum we can get it down to is probably 75. But uh, we, we're either going to have to have, I think it's going to shock the people when we tell them we've got to have $140 billion budget. And now, if we hold things as they are except defense, that's what it'll be in that neighborhood, 135 to 140. Uh, I don't know uh, how much they, they, they talk about this defense spending. I don't know how much, but uh, uh, I, I think that one of our problems is the criticism they made of our programs, all right. And uh, my own inclination would be to go along with poverty, something along the line we did this year. Exactly. But uh, they haven't spent it very well, even, uh, even more. They ought to cut out some, they ought, well, we'll get to talking about that, but they're spread too thin. They ought to concentrate. Now, here's the people we talked to. If you got a minute. Yes, sir. Uh, we talked to uh, Hayden. He would not give any specific reactions over the phone. We talked to Russell. He said that he would give us support for an intensive cost reduction program if the cuts were made across the board in the entire budget. The grumbling over specific cuts, but balanced cutback would be supported in the present climate. Uh, he says that when we say that we're going to have no new starts in the Corps of Engineers, that's going to cause grumbling. He says the highway trust fund will cause grumbling, but that's all the positive. That's a summary of his conversation. You see how constructive they all are. Magnuson says, I'm taking these leaders now, I'm the chairman of the committee. He said, take 300 million out of economic opportunity. Take a few whacks out of NIH 5%. Cut a little from impacted areas. Take a whack out of NASA. Stretch out SST, but go on select Boeing as a contractor. Yeah. Defer new starts. Go ahead with ongoing program. Don't cut any power programs in Washington. Stennis, he's certain some cutting has to be done. Divide cuts between the administration and Congress. He would have no comment on 
to health. Very difficult to cut impacted areas. Reluctant support of deferral of new starts. Uh, deferral of some highway would make sense. That's Stennis. Holland, no reason to spend congressional add-ons on DOD. Cut up poverty drastically. Cut National Institute of Health. Cut impacted areas. Keep Apollo, but cut post-Apollo. SST slowdown. Delay new starts. Cut navigation, irrigation ahead of flood control. REA cut to budget request. FHA cut operating loans. Substantial cuts in aid. Senator Hill, dubious about holding back any NIH. Impacted areas must not be cut. Might as well slow down. Governor Wallace gets credit anyway. Senator Russell Long, delay 130 million add-on, but not if it affects Louisiana. NIH, aid to airports, this, so he does no good. Dirksen, he will cooperate in any balance cuts, cut areas where Congress added to the budget. He will slow down the entire construction program. Now, my judgment is, since we got all these governors, and highway is pretty popular, and the contractors and the labor and everything, but I believe that that's the most wholesome area that we can make the cuts. Although I notice uh, Ruska's against uh, cutting and Munt's against cutting. The Republicans are really against cutting where we can cut the trust well, fund. Make money. Yeah. Uh, they want to cut uh, the Office of Economic Opportunity and Health and so forth. One of the things I... Senator mean, Allen says the opportunity can stand a whale of a slash and a complete reworking. Uh, McCormick said hold back in the impacted areas. Albert said do some trimming in poverty. Mahon says cut poverty. Uh, Congressman Ford said cut 500 million out of poverty. Congressman Laird said put the head start in the Office of Education. It's very popular. Well, I uh, I think one point that we ought to keep in mind is getting we ought to get in the fellow like uh, uh, Muskie or some of these uh, on the liberal side. They're going to have more control in that Congress uh, uh, than uh, than they have had, in fact, uh, because I think you're going to find Brooks and uh, Percy uh, at least as strong with them on a lot of these uh, uh, new programs. And uh, even if we make uh, good, hard efforts uh, at the executive level, because unless we got their cooperation, uh, they'll try to override us and make us look bad. Because you can rest assured there are a few fellows there that are going to uh, try to have all the add-ons that they can get just to look good. And uh, somewhere along the line, we I uh, hope that you can bring in uh, possibly a fellow like uh, young Fred Harris and uh, maybe uh, Ed Muskie. And, uh, when you bring them down, every guy that doesn't come in, McCarthy doesn't come in or Mondale, you're in damn sure trouble. And when you bring them all down, uh, as I did a dozen times last year at different times, I had McCarthy in at least six times. I know that. I just get in trouble with them. Uh, uh, Lefke got us in all this goddamn trouble. He had to have a big hearing and call up Bobby Kennedy and get Gardner and all of them to raise hell about why we weren't doing our job. I swear I can't understand that. Well, I know he's got that set of hearings going on now, but I think he's the most uh, uh, manageable and cooperative. To yes, talk with he, yes, he is. He's cooperative and he's friendly. But they all want a headline. Yeah. And the only way to get a headline is to cuss your own president. Yeah, that's if right. you denounce your mother and say, by God, that she ought to die today, why, well, you'll get a good headline. That's right. And uh, that's what we got to try to get them to keep from doing. I don't know how to do it. I didn't ask Keekle and Long. I don't know. I did ask Boggs because McCormick couldn't come. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask Laird. I didn't want well, afraid if I got into the whips and into the other outfits. I... Yeah, it's pretty hard to know where to stop. Uh, Kiko, uh, very frankly, isn't going to be able to influence them anyway, you know. I, mean, I thought he could handle Brooke, maybe, and Percy and be some help there. Well, and probably. Maybe he'd be a little progressive and... Uh, uh, I don't know about Long. I think Mansfield kind of resents Long being asked. Long might be resent the not being asked, though. I don't know. Well, Russell, uh, if you get him aboard, is the most effective. He's, uh, he can be effective. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it might not be a bad idea. You still have a day and a half uh, to, to ask those two fellows. No, I just got today. Uh, yeah. Yes, but I mean, uh, yeah. for the yeah. day and yeah. the half, just the yeah. one that you want yeah. down there. Yeah. And 
I think it might not be a bad idea. I uh, really, now that I'm on second thought, I think you maybe ought to because uh, Russell, uh, you know, he's pretty, uh, he's pretty strong-willed. He's pretty strong-willed. Strong-willed.